Here at the Orajalo Pasta Factory near Naples, 50 years of Italian culinary tradition meets innovation. Earlier this year, these machines grinding out orecchette and spaghetti were powered by a new fuel, hydrogen mixed with natural gas. A cutting edge experiment in Europe that showcases green hydrogen as a clean energy source of the future. It's big, it's happening, and it's happening faster than we all expected. Mixing hydrogen and industrial production is a trial being taken by one of Europe's largest gas providers, SNAM. There is growing pressure from energy companies to change their business strategies and tackle climate change. SNAM believes it might have the answer. By introducing just 10% of hydrogen into its existing gas network, the company believes CO2 emissions will be reduced by 5 million tons annually. And it's betting that within three decades, green hydrogen will provide a quarter of Italy's energy. We think it will get to between 3 and 5% in 2030, and we see it getting up to 25% by 2050. We see costs allowing for this uh, revolution to happen without really uh, much need for subsidies or taxes. And so it's a way to fuel uh, the green deal. Producing green hydrogen from renewables remains expensive. The electricity produced by solar panels and wind turbines splits water into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis. The hydrogen then flows to factories and service stations. It can power industrial production fuel vehicles, or be stored for future use. But amid greater public demand for countries to feature clean energy and any coronavirus recovery packages, several governments are announcing green hydrogen projects as part of economic stimulus plans. There's a greater recognition that we need to do something now. We cannot wait. Costs are coming down, and they're coming down dramatically, while also consumers are looking for more greener products and that together is creating that, that advantage that we hadn't seen in the past. With costs falling and experiments like here at the Orajalo Pasta Factory, green hydrogen could become a major player in the global energy system. John Defterius, CNN.